Hey guys, what's up? It's me, Kendrick9. Sorry about lower quality today. Uh, just using my laptop's built-in webcam. And uh, my microphone, my good microphone, is packed up in my recording bag. Because I'm hoping to use it in a job. I don't want to unpack it and then repack it. It should be used tomorrow. I'm taking it with me anyways. So, as you see by the title, which is like here, maybe. Or maybe YouTube flips it and it's over here. I don't know doing straight webcam video, so just bear with me on this. Um, I've modded the deploy to make it a not suck gun. As we all know, the deploy sucks, and this video is actually kind of directed at Lasagna678, I think that's his name anyways, who I actually found is, the first video of his I watched was about how much he hates the, uh, the deploy. And I had to go back and find his channel later because I, I just love that video because I hate the deploy so much. But I picked up myself a white of a series deploy. Um, I only have one white attachment, and it's this, so super super shield. So white of series wasn't that big of a deal to me, especially not for the deploy. But I had a particular mod in in mind when I picked it up. So I'll get to that mod in a second. First, I want to show you guys what I did with the deploy is my deploy. So I think it looks better this way. It's minimized. The stock has been removed, obviously. And the carry handle, which looks stupid without the stock because the guns just look horribly balanced. The uh, carry handle was cut off and then the top rail was glued back down. It's actually cut off here. You can actually kind of see through the gun right there. It's not perfectly done. Anyway, the top of the gun is basically flat. This is just white duct tape covering the hole. This is where this this button used to be over top of this, so the rail was moved slightly farther back as well as down to be kind of flush to the top of the gun, and then it angles down here, and this is where this is where the sight used to be, and more white duct tape. There was plenty of scrap white plastic that came off the gun during the modding, but I just didn't feel like cutting it and gluing it back in place, so. There's my deploy. AR removed, plunger padded. Um, Locks removed, basic stuff. Probably won't use it, but my sister likes to have nerf gun fights with her friends, so I'll probably let her use it. It's, a, it's an okay little shotgun. It's better than it was. It's still heavy, still bulky, and I wouldn't recommend using it just because there's no real pluses to it. But in this configuration with this color scheme, it looks okay. Now, what I had in mind with this gun was originally, I saw this piece here that moves, right? And I thought, that's a pretty thick looking gun. I had seen a video comparison with, of it next to a Maverick, and I thought, if I can take this piece out, I could totally put like a Maverick drum in here. Now you can tell that's obviously not what I did. I wanted to make a pump action Maverick for some reason. I was going to scrap all the internals and stuff and try to make it look like a Maverick, but then when I realized that the two were similar in size, I noticed that, well, uh, well went when taking the gun apart, taking the stock off, I noticed the Maverick fit almost perfectly into the stock. And um, with a few modifications, like this slit along the top, uh, it's very bright right here, but you see right around here where the cut gets a little wonky, not straight, well, technically on this side. That's where my cut starts and it extends all the way down to here. So the sight on the Maverick can slide in that groove. And then for the rest of it, again, a little bright. See how well that fits in there? Just the whole shape of the gun here. It's just such a perfect fit inside the stock. It really makes an awesome Maverick holster. Now, just it sitting in alone is enough, so it's got some straps in the back. It's got a belt strap, top leg, top strap on your leg, and then a bottom strap for your leg. The bottom one is attached. I use two different methods for testing purposes here. This is a, uh, a tape method where um, grip tape is applied to the plastic and then something is glued to the grip tape. In this case, grip tape was wrapped around the strap and the two sets of grip tape were screwed together. Grip tape, uh, when you use super glue on it, works almost like a paper mache type effect where the uh, fabric-based tape absorbs the super glue and then whenever you stick into it, it kind of, it's fabric-based grip tape, so it kind of 
grabs onto it with the little fibers and it makes a really good solid grip to whatever you're doing and I just put two bits of grip tape to each other so this is just a, effectively just taped on so I can easily peel this off. I do it on a lot of uh, test mods and like prototypes and stuff if I'm not sure if I want to keep it. But the top strap's more permanent. I cut grooves in it and put it in. The reason there's tape above it is because I didn't have a Dremel tool so the groove actually starts up here and is cut all the way down to where this is slipped through and then tape was put above it. Uh, I plan to actually add another one of these straps so you can get these just velcro um, rubber not rubber elastic utility straps velcro elastic utility straps and you can find them at dollar stores and you can also get non-elastic ones which could be useful I use elastic in case I want to lend it to a friend the main thing holding the weight is the top strap anyways which actually run through the top the uh, this strap on the inside of the gun so it's got a little bit of elasticness to it but you can very easily just take a Dremel and cut a few slits in the side of the gun but the stock here, the, the holster and run these straps through and then you wouldn't have to worry about uh, different adhesive methods and this Maverick fits really well in here there's basically no jiggle all the jiggle you're going to hear is the jiggle of the uh, slide here It's a very like metallic spring-like jiggle. It's not a plastic on plastic jiggle because it's very tight fit. This would be an awesome. Uh, well, it is an awesome Maverick holster. I'm just going to add the other strap over the top. So that's my video there for you guys about how to make your deploy not suck. Uh, you get a really cool holster out of it. I mean, it's nice. It's got all the in the Whiteout series. It's got you know all the color scheme and the the nerf on it and, and strike down here. So it's all like looks proper, looks proper nerf like you can buy it in the store, but you know, you can't. They have a deploy and it sucks. Well, most people who have deploys would know that they suck. Uh most people who have deploys would also probably have Mavericks, that's a big popular gun. So I recommend doing something like this with your deploys, just so the gun isn't complete scrap, I would hate to throw out the entire gun. Of course, once you cut the rail off, you could put the rail on another gun. You could use the magwell on a barricade. You could use the pistol grip on a um, Alpha Trooper foregrip. You could use the foregrip on a recon, you know, to make it a pump action recon on the barrel. So the gun's not a complete waste in some of you have spare spring, spare plunger tube, stuff like that. Same size as the recon spring. So, I mean, if you were doing a clear recon, these guns come with black springs. I don't know if you can see that. If you got a clear recon, you could throw a black spring into that and it might look cool. Anyways, that's my video for you guys. Just to show you that, because some people might be wondering, yeah, the attachment totally fits on here. The shield's a little bit awkward when you see uh, the magwell there. The shield, it goes on. It looks stupid. But, uh, you know, it works. Uh, I also glued this in place so this doesn't fold up anymore. This this pistol grip would normally fold up. This still rotates though. Uh, and if I do roto if I do if it does rotate all the way up, it still locks in place. I forgot to remove the little lock here. So I just have to pop it out like my pocket knife or something. Anyways, that's my video on the uh nerf deploy, how to make it not suck, and how to get an awesome Maverick holster for your Mavericks. Um, my friend is messaging me all the words he knows because I'm AFK and he's like, man, you're AFK, you've been AFK for like five minutes, I'm going to start messaging you, I'm going to message you all the words I know, and he's legitimately just messaging me random words, it's good entertainment, I might just sit here for a while and watch, but I hope you guys enjoy, uh, check out Lasagna678, I will try to link him somewhere in my face, and, um, I'm also going to send him this video. So, um, I, I don't even know. He deserves a lot of subscribers. I, I don't have many myself, but if I can lend some to, to him, to you, if you're watching this, uh, that'd be awesome. Because, you know, you deserve it. You have some good work there, but...